What's going on everybody? Mike coming in from my kitchen in uh, Moore, Oklahoma. The reason why I'm in my kitchen and I'm not cooking is it is actually warmer in my kitchen than it is in my living room. Um, and I'm smack dab in the middle of uh, a fast. Uh, so that's why I kind of wanted to hop on here and talk to y'all about uh, intermittent fasting, what it is and why I do it, all right? So if you guys are, drop, are watching me live and you see that live button right there, please drop me that one and tell me where you guys are coming in from. And for you on Instagram, please do the same. You see that live button right there. Please just drop one uh, and tell me where you guys are coming from. If you guys are watching me on replay and you don't see that red box over there, please uh, drop me that too and tell me where you guys are coming in from. Um, yeah, sorry. Lost my chain of thought for a second because uh, his lights are really bright in uh, the background of my Facebook. Um, so a little bit about myself. Um, I started doing keto and intermittent fasting uh, because I needed to lose weight to be able to stay in the army. Um, since doing it, I have lost 27 pounds um, and I've been able to keep it off. I work out regular, regularly, so I have gained some weight, um, but it is not as much as I had on my on me beforehand. Um, so I absolutely love doing keto slash low carb and intermittent fasting. Um, I intermittent fast for uh, a period of 16 and eight. So what that means is I usually uh, will eat my, I will have my last amount of food um, before eight o'clock um, and then I won't eat again until around one or two o'clock in the afternoon. So I do have notes down here. So if I look down, it's because I'm looking at my notes, right? So I just want everybody to know. Um, let me say hi to some people. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Leslie. Thank you for sharing. Hi, Patricia. How are you? Hi, Mark. Hi, uh, Leah, I think it is. Um, how are you doing today? So. What intermittent fasting is, is it an eating pattern where you cycle between periods of eating and fasting. In other words, it's a periodic energy restriction uh, that accelerates weight loss and uh, leads to various health benefits such as reduced inflammation, regula regulated blood sugar and cholesterol levels, improved brain health, and many others. Uh, the most popular type is the 16 and 8, which is what I do, um, where you have an eating window of 8 hours and then you restrain from food for the rest for the other 16 hours, all right? So, what's up, Raven? Um, what's up, Hillary? Uh, so, just based off of that, um, one of the things that if you're trying to lose weight with doing the ketogenic diet or low-carb diet, um, low carb usually means you're you know dirty keto and you don't really count um, what you take in you just kind of know what you can't have um is a lot of times you want to be at a calorie deficit that way you start tapping into your own fat that you have on your body so when you do intermittent fasting it kind of forces you into that calorie deficit already because you're not eating when it's time or just because it's that time of day you're eating when you have your window and you're only eating what you need to eat so you're already at a calorie deficit and your body is already in a state of ketosis uh, so it is using uh, your fat um, and one of the great things is if you're doing keto and ketosis um, you're looking for the benefits that I just listed um, and if you're uh, doing intermittent fasting it kind of just compounds uh, those benefits what's up Donna how are you today um, so why should we fast? So one of the things that a lot of people don't understand is as human beings, um, once we move, even as cavemen and hunter and gatherers and everything else, we used to fast all the time. Um, because for the most part, when we came out of the cave and we went hunting for the day, um, we would go out and we would try to find our next meal, whether it was, you know, uh, woolly mammoth, whether it was something that we would hunt and kill and, and gut and drag back um, with the, the rest of the tribe, we would bring it back and everybody would eat it. And then that was the food for the next couple days. And then when that ran out, the hunters would leave again and they would, you know, not come back until they got their kill and had enough for everybody in the village. Um, so it was just huge, like 
it was natural for us to do it. So as we evolved and as we had a unlimited source of sugars and carbs and food, whether it's fast food, the grocery store, um, we have Uber Eats now. So literally if you got hungry and you wanted something and you didn't want to leave your own house, all you had to do was uh, get on your app, order some food and boom, you had got, you know, garbage in your mouth. Um, so a lot of times, even in ancient civilizations, they used to call it a cleanse, purification, or a detoxification, uh, because you were trying to, you know, get everything out of your system and get back to that uh, state of you feeling uh, a lot better. All right. Um, so you actually have the freedom to choose which one that you're gonna do. A lot of my friends and a lot of people that I help out on their keto journey, I suggest starting off um, with. Uh, a, a lower fast, which I'll get into here a, in a little bit. But some of the doctors that I have been able to see and hear speak, uh, a lot of them have their clients do a 16 and 8. Um, they have them do a one 24-hour fast, and they also have them do uh, what I'm doing, which is a 60-hour fast. Um, if you want more information on that 60-hour fast, please drop reboot in the comments, and I will get you uh some more info and if you want to be tagged in the doctor video uh, please drop secret in the comments and I can get you tagged in that video so that way you can uh, learn from the actual doctor and not just me uh, that way you have a little bit more clarification because I might miss some stuff um, so uh, an example of intermittent fasting is skipping breakfast right so uh, if you would, if you skip breakfast and then eat around noon, um, then you would have your last meal before eight o'clock, and that means you just fasted for sixteen uh, hours and then ate in between an eight-hour window. All right. Um, just a fun fact that I did find online: it says that generally speaking, women should fast for about thirteen to fourteen hours a day, and men should fast up to sixteen hours a day. Uh, one of the most important aspects of intermittent fasting is timing. Um, in order to adjust the release of hormones in your body, it is better for you to fast around the same time each day. This way you will be able to ease your body into a eat, new eating period and, of course, stick to the plan. Um, because one of my uh, coaches says the only diet that will work for you is the one that you are willing to stick to. All right. Uh, what's up, Joshua? What's up, Esther? What's up, Angela? What's up, Charlie? How's everybody going today? Um, so in the beginning of the video, I did say what some of the benefits were. So I'm just going to reiterate some of them because I do have them in my notes. So one of them is it slows down the aging process and it helps benefit your skin. Um, the reason it does that is because it your digestion allows to break down um, all the food that you have um, ate and it allows you to uh, put more collagen into your skin. Um, so a lot of times you'll see people that do intermittent fasting or keto um, and they have clear, glowing, healthy skin. Um, and that's part of the benefits of intermittent fasting. Um, another one is it reduces inflammation. So on here it says um, that intermittent fasting uh, can help things such as diabetes, multiple sclerosis, inflammation, bowel syndrome, um, and it, uh, what it does is it releases uh, cells called myocytes in the blood. Um, and fasting for pro prolonged periods with ample water consumption. Water is very, very important. Um, if you're doing intermittent fasting, keto, low carb, you should be drinking at least an ounce of water per body weight because you're gonna be using more of it as uh, your fat cells uh, gather the water and then shrink. Um, you'll have what's called the whoosh effect, all right? Um, so it pretty much helps with inflammation um, and improves brain health. This is one of my favorite benefits of keto and fasting. Um, and that is that you, uh, it helps with less oxidative stress and inflammation. Um, but it also increases the levels of brain-driven neurofactic factors, it's, which is a brain hormone uh, that can help with depression and other mental health issues. So all these I got from a website of intermittent fasting. Uh, so it, it, when you intermittent fast, 
uh, you become more sharp-minded, focused, and tend to be more productive at work. I can speak for this because when I started doing intermittent fasting and keto, um, my productivity in the recruiting office just went sky high. And we went from the middle of the pack, like 16th to 18th rank in the state of Michigan uh, to the number one station in the state of Michigan uh, after I started doing this because I was laser focused. Um, one of the greatest benefits is it does help you lose weight, all right? Um, and it, it helps because you're using your body's fat. You're getting rid of all the toxins. You're pretty much detoxing and flushing everything out. Um, another thing is it simplifies your meal prep. Because if you're intermittent fasting for any period of time, especially if you're skipping breakfast, I eat leftovers for lunch most of the time because I'm not really used to cooking for just two. Uh, so I cook extra. Um, and then it gives either myself something else to eat or it gives uh, Michael something extra to eat uh, the next couple of days. All right. Uh, so it simplifies your meal prep and it saves you money. The way it saves you money is one, you're not eating as much because you're only eating during a certain time frame. And two, you're not eating out as much because you're enjoying the meals that you're actually cooking. Um, and even if you are eating out, you're eating less uh, because of the lifestyle that you're doing. Um, and you don't really have to replace a ton of food. So the types of intermittent fasting that you can do, right? The first and easiest one that you should start off with is a 12 and 12, right? Uh, 12 hours of fasting in a 12 hour eating window. So that means that if you choose to fast during that, you'll um, eat between seven and seven. So you'll eat dinner and you'll eat uh, breakfast and then you won't eat, you'll skip lunch and then you'll, um, eat dinner again. So that's one of the easiest ways. Um, another one is 14 and 10. So it's a little bit more challenging. So you're going to eat at seven and then you're going to push past lunch or uh, push past breakfast and then eat around. Um, you're going to eat around like 10, 11 o'clock. Uh, so you'll have an early lunch and then you'll push uh, through dinner and then you'll eat your dinner and then start your clock again. Um, and then 16 and 8 is the easiest, is the one that I do and a lot of my friends do. Um, so my eating goes, I get home, I do my uh, stuff at home, I cook dinner, I usually try to eat before 8 o'clock, um, and then I use a Life app. So if you want to get included in my fasting group, please drop Life in the comments and I will get you information on that um, and you'll get you added to it and you'll see that I fast pretty much every day. Um, uh, I fast every day and I start my clock and then it kind of reminds me, hey, you reached your fasting window, you can eat now, um, and then I'll turn it off. So my window goes from usually around 7.30, 8 o'clock, and I don't usually eat until 1 uh, or 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, one of the other ones that you could do um, is a 20 and 4. It's known as the warrior diet. Um, so you're pretty much fasting for 20 hours and eating in a four hour window. Um, I really haven't done that. If I have done it, it was on accident. Um, and then another one that I did mention earlier in the live is the 24 and 0. Um, it's known as the one meal a day. So you pick the time that you want to eat. If breakfast is your favorite time, then you eat breakfast every single day. You eat a nice hearty breakfast and then you go on your day. And then you don't eat again until breakfast. If lunch is your favorite thing and you can get all the uh, nutrients and, and food that you want during lunch, then you eat lunch every single day and that's all, that's all you do is you fast the rest of the day or dinner. Um, but I don't suggest doing that on a daily basis. Um, like one of uh, my my doctors that I've seen, her name is Dr. Andy. Um, she has them do it once a week. Um, I will tell you that if I have a high, high, high carb day, um, where I go out and I go to a restaurant that I've always wanted to have, um, or I, uh, go to, let's say Olive Garden and I gorge myself on bread and, um, chicken Alfredo and stuff like that then I will not eat until the next day at that exact same time because I'm so full from all the stuff that I ate that I just don't want or need to eat. Um, and then I usually crash anyway. Uh, OMAD is 
uh, one meal a day. Um, so that is pretty much uh, what intermittent fasting is and why I do it. Um, so if you do keto and intermittent fasting and you combine the two, it helps you uh, reach ketosis faster um, and it helps you burn unwanted fat pockets much faster than just sticking to one of the methods. So if you're able to combine both of them um, and stick to it, you're going to meet your goals and you're going to be able to uh, achieve uh, either the fat loss, the you know muscle preservation, the mental clarity, uh, the reduced brain fog, the glowing skin with less acne and everything else uh, that you want uh, and need. That's why you started this journey. Um, doing both of them is going to actually allow you to do that. Um, so that is all I have for you. Um, I'm about to go on my couch and curl up in this nice uh, blanket because I'm cold uh, because I'm probably like 20, little over 25, 26 hours, maybe closer to 30 um, into this 60 hour fast. So before I let you all go, if you would tap my face, hit the three dots in the corner, see first, turn on live notifications and follow for you on Instagram, um, follow me. And then once you follow, there'll be a down button. You click that down button, you'll turn on live notifications, turn on stories, turn on posts, just turn everything on on Instagram. That way you see me just coming on, posting everything. Uh, I post more in my stories. So if you want to see how my life works, um, both of you, uh, Instagram and Facebook, uh, it's in the stories. Um, and then if you want to get in that group that has a lot of doctor videos, Drop Secret. If you want info on what I'm doing right now, which is a reboot, Drop Reboot. If you want the Life uh, app that tracks your fasting, uh, Drop Life and I'll send you a link uh, so you can be part of my fasting group. Um, and then if you just want more info on fasting, just drop uh, IF in the comments and I will hit you up in the DMs. So without any more, because I'm cold, um, I'm going to say good night, and I hope you have a nice morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on where you are watching from, and I will check you on my next live. Make sure you follow, see first, and turn on live notifications, and follow over there on Instagram. Y'all have a nice night. Bye! No thanks to the 24-hour one. We've almost, you've almost done a 24-hour before. Well, yeah, because...